Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over this range that we still have going on on Bitcoin and how I am currently trading it. So as you all know, this, this chart, this range that we have here in particular is my wife after I married it last week and she has just been treating me very well indeed. And as someone, someone commented the other day saying, wow, you have a wife, Daniel, that actually makes you money instead of taking it. Yeah, I'm very pleased with it. Maybe this ends in an absolute disaster and she actually eventually will run away with all my money. Who knows? But until that happens, I'm happy to trade her. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here to share my wife with you today. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy her as much as I do. <laughs> Sorry if this is a bit crude, but let's go over the range, over the chart and how just lovely it is indeed. OK. So today's focus is going to be um, uh, these comments. I, I think I've just totally blown my mind. I have no idea what I was going to say anymore. Uh, I was going to say, I'm here to explain to you. That's it. I'm here to explain to you <laughs> how we have to block emotions and we have to just purely trade the charts and how we can have perspectives from an overall perspective. So I could view this as an overall bearish distribution range, which means lower prices, but still on a day trading perspective, I can trade long so I can have happily hold shorts on a mid-term perspective while day trading long positions. Uh, so um, hopefully you can understand from this video that I share with you today, my perspectives uh, and how I manage these trades. Uh, it's, it's extremely valuable information. So let's go over this. Um, so as you know, on the last video update that I gave you, which I believe was the 18th, we're now on the 20th, uh, I was saying how, you know, we were literally just, you know, we were dropping down quite heavily. And um, my <laughs> my, my trade was a long. So th point number one that you need to remember here is dropping down really, really heavily. The majority are bearish. As this is happening, you have to remember what it's like in the time. Okay. Now in hindsight, yeah, we can say, you know, obviously it was a good long, but in the, in the time while this is dropping down really heavily, most people are selling. Most people are not buying when you have these big drops. As you know, from the technical analysis I done a few days ago, I was mentioning that I was longing this drop. Okay. And obviously that went really nice in the end because we got that quick move down into the monthly. We got a little bit of a bounce back. I was in that long position. And uh, obviously how that traded out in the end was we got a... Re oh, yeah. So also I wanted to mention this really quickly. We did bounce off of that TPOC. So we had a few layers here to be able to compound into. Obviously, the initial drop down onto the monthly, then bouncing off the previous day TPOC uh, to obviously get us in the end back up to the previous day's value area high, which was lovely indeed. So obviously back into this lovely, lovely channel once more that we had. So we can see there bounce off the monthly, bounce off TPOC and then back into this channel. And uh, <laughs> as I was mentioning yesterday, you know, I've taken another short from this channel. So once again, you have the quick move to the upside. And then the quick follow through to 9,900. And this is where I was taking my shorts. Um, and my actual foot highest fill was 9,908. The highest price on this wick was 9,000. Nine hundred and ten dollars. So I got in a short two dollars from the absolute high of that one. And again, if you want to see those, all of these sort of trades and evidence and everything like that, then I post it all in the champions group where you could have seen my fills, uh, which was it was just absolutely brilliant. But yeah, basically, what did what? Why was I shorting this? Well. Overall, I have a distribution schematics, but nevertheless, we also can see inside of the chart. So this is looking at the footprints. 32 million market sell. 32 million market sell. Obviously, there's heavy players defending this. And what is really, really, really funny, I find this hilarious, that there was a 32 million market sell. Okay. Minutes, well, actually about an hour later, BitMEX went totally offline. So it's kind of like, yeah, really big market sell. Like, it's not normal to see this much market sell, by the way. This is really, uh, you, know, you don't normally see a 32 million market sell, you know. So when when I, when I noticed this on the charts... Obviously, well, I'm initially, you know, I'm, an, I'm really <laughs> thinking, oh, this is a bit, this is a bit of an anomaly. What, what's this going on for? Also, I was, I was happy because I was in a short, by the way, but. Nevertheless, it brought my attention to it. And then one hour later, yesterday, BitMEX actually went totally offline. Um, so it was kind of like tinfoil hat time, 32 million market sell, withdrawing. You know, this happened one hour before the withdrawal times. And then BitMEX goes offline for literally like half an hour to an hour. It was a pretty crazy day yesterday. Lots of volatility to the downside. But obviously that initial short that I took, I was not, aware, you know, I wasn't thinking, oh, yeah, BitMEX is definitely going to go offline here. But nevertheless, we had that uh, short taken. And then we, and then, uh, then I was noticing these, these big market sales, and then we did have the big drop to the downside, and that is this wick here. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the rejection off the middle of the channel. As you can see, that high, sorry, nine thousand nine hundred and eleven was the top, so three dollars of the top. I got into that short, which was just incredible. But nevertheless, we had the quick then move to the downside, really quick move to the downside. 
So this is when I was closing my short and going into a long once again, very similar to this one where we had the really quick move down where everybody is so scared. On this really quick move down, we actually had even more people scared. Okay, so even more people were scared of buying this one as it was a really quick move down and BitMEX had literally just came back offline after being off, you know, offline people were, were really fearful yesterday and literally just market selling you know expecting there to be some sort of exchange hack no, so many different theories going around but as i always 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 say you know can we resume trading as normal my answer is yes you you have to remove the emotions you have to remove the 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 the, the ideas oh this is a mount gox part two this is a x y and z we could be dumping here we could be pumping here you know all these different theories especially you log on to twitter you're going to read a hundred different stories about why this is crashing why bixmex is going down you know come and use x y and z exchange it's better than bitmex all of these different things really simply everybody is so scared everybody is so fearful what am i doing trading as normal, ignoring all of the news, and really simply sculpt along. So I went into a long position while price is having a really big crash, really simply trading my technical analysis, trading my charts. That's what I always do. Are you surprised in the reaction that we got off of this? I hope that you are not because well, from that really quick drop, to, you know, that really quick drop to the downside, I wasn't when, you know, obviously in that long position, which I was originally posting in the group. And we had a really, really, we had a really nice real bounce back up to the upside, as you can see here, coming back up to the low of our channels. So again, these are these are like 5% moves each time. And this is a really, really nice trade. And as you can see now, from that reaction, we come back up to the, once more, the low of the channel, low of the channel. So low of the channel now clearly acting as resistance. That is kind of, I want to emphasize this, you know, Bitcoin is a funny trading asset. It, it really, you know, people don't, I, you know, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to say, you know, put people down, but I'm just being brutally honest that Bitcoin really does wreck, absolutely wreck retail traders that have a little or basic grasp of the market. OK, you know, for example, they go and read a trading book. They, they think they've understood the market from reading their trading books. They've read they've read Frost and Pretcher, Elliott Waves. They've they've read the financial uh, markets. They've you know, they've went through a hundred different trading books and they feel they have a really big grasp of the market. They know what they're doing, but then they come over to trade Bitcoin. Every single pattern that they try and trade is a fake out and comes wrong. They get into the herd, man, herd mentality, looking at Twitter, also really bad idea. So I've just like listed out some points here, like the obvious patterns fake out, the crowded traits are a bad idea and fear is generally a good time to buy. Um, so it's just really funny. For instance, you see all these, what I mean by the patterns is you see all these textbook patterns and they will generally fake out, especially on cryptocurrency Bitcoin. So the only way that you can really trade Bitcoin, in my humble opinion, is actually having the experience of trading it for years because then you can keep get to grips with how these fake outs work. And it's just time and time and time and time again. So I do feel sorry for retail traders that they come into this market and get treated <laughs> like they do. But nevertheless, it's really important, you know, trade trade with zero emotion trade like a robot almost and um you know stick to the charts and and you know these these last few ever you know these last few trades that i've given you here are just evidence of what really why you have to do that okay uh so obviously yeah running those stops and then what are we up to now we're, we're back onto the low of the channel so and again this i want to highlight okay so i might be, have a, a a medium term bearish bias where i'm expecting lower prices but i'm still able to trade longs during the day. Even though I may expect lower prices, I'm still trading longs. I'm still trading the chart. I'm not trading a bias. I'm staying very humble and open. Firstly, I'm open to being wrong. I'm not saying that this had to get bought up. Absolutely, it could have continued to dump. This one, I'm not saying it had to get bought up, but it could, it could have continued to dump. I'm not saying I've, I've got some sort of 100% win rate where I, I definitely know this is going to happen. All I'm saying is I trade the charts, I trade the information, I trade the statistics that I have, and I believe that these trades, well, all of them traded well. Not that they had to trade well, but, um, you know, over time you get these fills for the market, you get, you know, idea and grasp of how it's going to do. And I just want to really emphasize that I do have a swing trade account and I do have a day trading account. Don't get that wrong. But, you know, I can have swing trade, you know, bearish ideas and then bullish short term ideas. So then what does that lead us up to now? So I am still in. I am still I've already I've taken profits. Don't get me wrong. I've taken profits here. But I still have a percentage running of this long position. Don't feel the need to close it quite yet. So I am still in that day trade long from yesterday. Um, again, this is sometimes I will let day trade longs carry on. If there's no reason for me to close it, then, I'm, then there's no reason for me to close it. You know, so I'm still in that long that I entered from the lows here. And we obviously come back up. We tested the channel once. We got this little bit of a Darth Maul <laughs> candle coming in here. And then we're retesting love the channels again. So I think it's really clear 
and obvious what's happening right now is that we have a, a very you know really big resistance that's coming in around nine eight nine nine so that's our resistance locally and that's you know really obvious from this channel again I mean, giving you this channel is extremely beneficial because the people that are trading blind to this market that have no idea what's going on then you know i do feel you know th this is just a massive advantage to be able to have this information i just feel so you know we've clearly got that that supply coming in around this top channel and locally we've we're, we're you know we are getting built up here on higher lows so um you know short term one would say you know that's really clear resistance this top channel and then you obviously have the monthly, the lower of the channel, and you are kind of building up here some form of an ascending triangle, possibly, okay, with our higher lows into our flat resistance, okay. Specifically, if you look back here, you can see the forms of higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, coming into this flat resistance. So you do have that going on more locally here. Um, so yeah, that's, um, that's my technical analysis explaining those last few trades for you all. I hope that you have enjoyed me talking you through this one. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you once again. I guess I'll end with this one saying, I just want to really emphasize these comments that I made because it's just so, I, I just feel totally blessed. So I'm going to, I'm just going to read out and just say, you know, especially from the last video, there was just so many comments um, just saying, you know, thank you. They appreciate my work. And, you know, as a, as a person that's here to help people to see uh, rather than just you know making a video and getting no comments and i'm thinking you know people obviously liking it but it really warmed me and really made me very happy to read all of the you know the lovely comments that you left me so thank you for taking your time out of the day to leave me that comment firstly and uh, you know i just want to say that i am truly appreciative of what i have don't you know every single day i wake up and feel totally blessed and you know happy and ju just you know i have to appreciate what i have so I'm here to say thank you for that from the bottom of my heart. Honestly, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you so much uh, for all of the support that you give me daily. It's it's an absolute pleasure to help you. And, uh, you know, I'm here to assist you with your trading goals. As some people were saying in the group earlier today, I won't load up the comment in case they don't want people to see it in publicly. But nevertheless, I had people like commenting today, you know, saying how they are, uh, you know, they really want to get this trading goal because they're, you know, they're working a nine to five job that they do not like. They want to get out of this grind. They want to be their own boss. You know, trading offers you that opportunity to make your own hours, work where you want to, essentially work when you want to work. So, you know, there's so much, not just the financial gains that you can have from trading. Obviously, everybody loves to be financially free, but also just the time aspect. OK, being able to do what you want when you want is obviously a massive freedom um, that trading can grant you. So I'm, I'm happy to assist in the goals. Um, you know, in that journey to reach that levels. Um, and, you know, this was a, as a li little bit of a, a move on from that. But, you know, I know I can be sometimes annoying somewhat with my <laughs> with my egotistical posts, you know, saying I'm the best trader in this space. X, Y, Z, you know, I can understand how that's sometimes annoying. But you have to remember, I'm young. I'm new to social media. Um, so, you know, uh, my, myself as well, I will always try and remain humble. And, you know, I, I also am always in a personal journey and trying to improve. I'm never, ever at the top of my game. There's always room to improve. And I guess, like, this is a good emphasis upon this i'm saying a lot of emphasis on today but basically think of it like this during quarantine okay so during quarantine there are going to be you know primarily two types of people okay so during these let's say that you're furloughed or, or whatever you have a lot of time at home recently over these last few months you could have either spent that time watching netflix watching tv series playing computer games and just staying flat so you're not improving yourself you're not really making yourself work but you're just staying flat you're staying at, uh, at the same level whereas you could be using this time to improve yourself be that doing something like learning a new language whatever that may be or learning to trade for example you are actively increasing yourself you are making yourself a better person you are using great use of that time for me personally, I am doing a lot of, I'm making a lot of new content. I'm trying to make chart champions, you know, really successful. And, you know, that that's my personal goal at the moment to, you know, build up chart champions, to build this as a platform, to help as many people, as much people as possible. It's obviously going very well. So I'm doing something that I'm really proud at, uh, proud of. <laughs> and, um, you know, just think to yourself, use this time beneficially, use this time to improve yourself. Never, never stay flat keep on going and um, you know sky's the limit you can really achieve anything that you want to achieve if you put your mind to it so the future is bright let's all be happy value what we have today being able to watch this video is more than many 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 people do have so don't think you know that you're at you're at a rut you are fortunate than many to be able to even watch this so you know for, from there you're already you're already doing well 
I'd like to end, uh, I put this here to remind myself, I do have a stream on Delta tonight, okay, which is inside of the footprint charts. This might sound pretty advanced, and I'm not going to lie, it is pretty advanced theory that I'm teaching. But if you are a beginner trader, if you are new to trading, then we are making courses from the very beginner trader to build you up from nothing to, to you know, obviously this is going to take time, <laughs> but, you know, you will be able to come in from nothing to, you know, essentially being at the level I am. There's no reason why you can't be. Um, but, yeah, tonight I do have a stream on Delta. Uh, which is obviously in the footprint chart style of trading. Pretty advanced knowledge, but if you're interested in that, then I have that live stream tonight for the contenders and champions. Uh, again, if you are at a low level of trading, then don't feel intimidated. We do have much lower level content as well, where you obviously have the backlog to all of this content, so you can start at the beginners and you know work your way up. But um, yeah, that's everything from me. I uh, just wanted to let you uh, be aware of that we have that tonight. Uh, yeah, that I'm internally, you know, happy of how everything's going here. And, uh, you know, this is how I'm trading at the moment. So I am in that long position right now. That's another view of this chart. Just absolutely beautiful. As I said, my wife, my, my wife, I married this chart. I'm that, I'm that pleased with her. Um, you know, so at the end of the day, we can just, we, we can really just trade her. So, um, you know, don't, don't trade your emotions, trade the charts, trade the technical analysis. And, um, you know, evidence is, is here that it, it's going pretty well indeed. So, uh, yeah, thank you, everybody. Uh, as always, uh, have a brilliant day. Cheers. Thank you. And goodbye. Bye.